All right, this is on solving a system using substitution method. So we've used the graphing calculator to find out if they have a solution and what that order pair might be. What we're going to do next is we're going to solve by substitution, where we want to solve it algebraically. So here are the steps that we're going to go through. Step one is you want to isolate one of the variables, either the x or the y. Then we substitute that answer into step one into the other equation, and then substitute the x value into one of the original equations to solve for y. So what's nice about this first example, step one has already been done for us. This y has already been isolated. So I'm just gonna write that y equals 2x minus 1. So the top equation has been solved for y. So step one is done. Step two is to substitute the answer into the other equation. So the other equation, the bottom equation, we're going to substitute. So I'm going to write that in red. And we're going to take this 2x minus 1 and substitute it into the red equation for y. So here's what it's going to look like. 3x plus 2, and now we replace that y in that parentheses. So that y right here is 2x minus 1. And what's nice now is now we're down to not two variables in the equation, but just one. So now we go ahead and solve it. So we're going to have to distribute the 2 into the parentheses. So we're left with 4x minus 2. And then we combine like terms. 7x minus 2 equals 26. And then we undo the minus 2 by adding 2 to both sides. So 7x equals 28. Then we divide both sides by 7. And we get x equals 4. So that was step 2. That will always be the longest step. Step 3 now says solve x, substitute x, we're going to take this x and substitute it back into that first equation. So it's y equals, and now we're going to replace this x right here with 1. So this is going right into here for a 4. And now we simplify it. So y equals 2 times 4 is 8, minus 1 is 7. So the solution is the ordered pair 4, 7. Let's do another one. This one's a little bit more challenging because both of the equations are not solved for one variable. So I'm going to start with this equation right here. It's pretty close to solving for y, but there's a negative. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of that negative. So we divide both sides by negative 1. And then we simplify. We get negative 2x, positive 2 equals y. I'm just going to flip-flop the order so the y is on the left and the negative 2x plus 2 is on the right. So that is step one. We've isolated one of the variables. Step two is to substitute that into the other equation. So here's my top equation.
and we're gonna take this negative 2x plus 2 and substitute it in for y. So this parentheses is that negative 2x plus 2. Now we solve it for x. So we distribute the 6 into the parentheses. We combine like terms. So you get negative 7x. We subtract 12 from both sides. Simplify. And then we divide both sides by negative 7. So x equals 3. We just completed step 2. Step 3 is now to take that 3 and substitute it back into that equation in the red. And then simplify for y. And our y value is negative 4. So the solution is 3 comma negative 4. If we were to graph these two lines, this is where they would intersect. All right, here's our last example. I'm going to start with the top equation. And we're going to solve it for x. So we subtract 2y from both sides. Take the other equation. And now this 4 minus 2y is not going in for y. It's going to substitute in for x. So we replace the x with 4 minus 2y. So that's that piece there is the x from the first equation. And now we're going to solve for y. So we distribute the 3 into the parentheses, combine like terms. Subtract 12 from both sides. Simplify. Divide both sides by negative 10. And y is reduced to 1 half. So there's step 2. Step 3 is to take this 1 half and go back up into the red equation for y. So x equals 4, replace that y with 1 half. And now we just solve for x. So 2 times 1 half is negative 1. x equals 3. So the solution to this system as an ordered pair is three comma one half.